So we just save as to get the .xcf just in case we want to come back to this. And then we exit out of this. So we're done. We're done with that. Next, we're going to do the gloves. Uh, the gloves is going to be pretty easy, of course. We're just going to duplicate the layer so we have a backup. And for the backup layer, we're going to reduce all the saturation. Again, you guys can get completely creative, do your own thing, uh, fiddle around with it. I want to see your own uh, custom character skin. So, I am going to reduce saturation. And I'm, you know, I might just leave it uh, like that as it is, but I'm going to fiddle around with contrast and see how it all looks like. If I can get it to be black without looking too weird. Ah, that might be the best that I can do it with that anyways. Okay. Go ahead and overwrite. And save as. Close, and we're done. Uh, the next is the shoes. We're going to do the shoes. Again, another really easy one. Duplicate the layer. We're going to go to colors. Uh, for this one, I want to get the shoes. Okay, I want to get white shoes. I think the easiest way to do that is just go colors and invert. And that's almost the way there. It looks a little bit blue, so I'm going to go to saturation and lower it all the way so it's gray. So that uh, looks pretty good, I think, for a white shoe. I'll just go ahead and overwrite and then save the XCF. Close it up. Now we only have, uh, if we ignore the backpack, we only have two more textures to edit. It's the head and the hair. So I think the hair is easier to start with. So, of course, we're going to duplicate. And for this one, we're going to go colors, uh, hue, saturation. We're going to change the hue to a yellow color. Just like that. And we might want to make it brighter a little bit. Not too much brighter. Just a little bit. And we're done. So just like that, we gave our uh, mechanic some blonde hair. We're going to go ahead and overwrite and save. There's the .xcf. So close that up. So the next image that we're going to do is the head image. I'm not going to do anything too special with this. But, of course, I'm going to duplicate the layer. And for this working copy of the layer, I'm going to give this guy a new eye. I think this time I'm going to go with possibly a cat eye or something like that. So go ahead and select everything that we need to, which is just this eye section here. Not going to be too, too careful. I'm sure it'll work fine. Here, now uh, let's get hue and saturation going. We're going to change the hue so that the back color is a yellow color that looks about right that's looking pretty cool you know i might even go with a red pupil too except uh, we need to change the pupil so for that i'm going to get rid of my selection then i'm going to select um elliptical select tool and i'm going to change it so that i can select just just the pupil exactly what i need just like that. Okay. I think I'm going to copy that. And then in a new layer, transparent, I'm going to edit, paste. So when I, when I paste it and anchor it, it's, it's on the new layer. I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to turn it off for now because I need to see this other layer right here. Okay. So to make a new eye, we're going to actually uh, need to start this all over again. So we're going to pick our uh, eye colors. We're going to start with the yellow color. It looks something like that. I'll make it a little bit more yellow. There we go. And white. So we're going to need that yellow and a white. And 
we're going to select what looks like the entire eye texture something like that okay now in this selection uh, we're going to take the uh, gradient tool the blend tool as it's called in GIMP and we're going to select a radial shape so that we can get a circle and then we're just going to go from the edge of the circle it doesn't matter which point of the circle you choose as long as it's from the edge to the center and we got it backwards so we'll flip that and instead we're gonna go from the center to the edge there we go that's the same sort of gradient that they had going on uh, before so now when we select none and enable our copied pupil it looks like a yellow eye so for the pupil uh, I'm gonna duplicate the pupil just because I I don't want to mess this up I'm going to scale uh, actually before I scale okay so I, I was planning on scaling the pupil so it, it looks more like a cat pupil but uh, that's gonna be very hard to do when you have the entire layer uh, when you have the entire layer ready for scaling so I'm gonna cancel that instead I'm gonna go to the layer menu and click uh, select auto crop layer as the tooltip will say it uh, removes empty borders from the layer it'll uh, see which areas are nothing but transparent and just cut that out of the layer so after clicking that we see the layer is just a small square here the size of the pupil so now now when we click scale layer we have just uh, something very easy to work with here and we're gonna unlock the width and height ratio so that we can make it skinnier than it is taller so the width and height is already 45 we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do 10 on this side so we're gonna go down to 35 and then 10 from this side here going down to 25 and we'll, we'll maybe even go down another five each so 20 on this side and then 15 on this side there we go and when we click scale there's our new pupil okay so I think that's it for the head texture we're just giving a, just gonna give the character some new pupils and we're gonna overwrite and then we're gonna save our dot XCF so let's close this uh, we'll minimize GIMP just in case we need it later and this is already our first character skin so we didn't change the backpack so we're not gonna worry about that right now and we didn't worry about any of the other uh, specular or normal map images we're gonna get into that in a bit in some later episodes for now let's go ahead and test out our new character skin that we just created so we still have our uh, our data folder here open with the uh, the textures for the, the male character that the game is using and we're just gonna select all of our new character textures one two three four five I think that's it yeah and we'll just copy it right over here and then we launch scrap mechanic and see how it looks and there it is we can already see our character has the the new skin that we applied it's that easy to create a new character so let's hop into world real quick and see how it looks like 12 seconds later okay yes got it put a seat down and go Oh, look at those pupils, it's creepy. Hey, but the shirt turned out real nice. 
looks like I might have cut in a little bit too close for the uh, the front of the overalls there. I see a tiny little bit of orange, but that's not a problem. It's an easy thing to fix. And, oh, I didn't get the gloves. I did not get the gloves. Okay, so let's get out. Okay, so copy the gloves. Yes. Go back in the game. Let's see those gloves. There they are. The nice black gloves. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> okay, everyone. I think that's going to be it for today's lesson. Time for a contest. The contest is you make your own character skin. You send them in to me, and I will feature the most interesting, or my favorite, uh, in the next tutorial video. So everyone will get to see it, and download it, try it, whatever. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys make. Uh, go ahead and send them over to my Twitter, at DerpyDerf. I will accept screenshots, or download links, whatever, whatever you got to send me. Just uh, go ahead and tweet them at me. This How to Make Mods series is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. If you'd like to help support videos like this one, visit patreon.com slash derf. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and share it with some of your friends. Until next time, happy modding. <laughs> I'm so scary with my scary pupils and purple pants. I don't know fashion. Blair. Blair. Blur.